graphs to solve some systems of equations and I've set these equations up so that way some uh, special things happen. And the special things are called inconsistency and consistent dependency. Okay, so on the left our first example is the system consisting of negative x plus 2y equals 4 and x minus 2y equals negative 4. Okay, in this particular system, we're kind of nicely lined up for elimination right off the bat. So I'm going to put a line here, and I'm going to add together the two equations. Negative x plus x is 0. 2y minus 2y is 0. And 4 minus 4 plus a negative 4, I should be saying, is 0. So we get 0 equals 0. So think to yourself, is 0 equals 0? true or false. This is actually true all the time. So what we have here is a system which we refer to as being consistent because there is solutions, but it's consistent dependent because it's actually the exact same line. The two equations are identical if we multiply through by negative one. Now oftentimes to give a final answer to this, we like to write it as follows. We like to say negative x plus 2y equals 4. It do, this doesn't have to happen, but a lot, of, a lot of times it's nice to write it like this. Add x to both sides. 2y equals x plus 4. And then divide by 2 and say that it was dependent consistent or consistent dependent. It's the exact same line. And what is the line? It's y equals 1 half x plus 2. So in other words, we write it into a form that for some people might be easier to read, the uh, slope-intercept form in this case. Okay, let's try a second shot then. On the right-hand side we have negative 5x plus 2y equals 3 and 10x minus 4y equals 3. So this time, before I multiply these together, I'm going to take that top equation and I'm also going to double it because that's going to allow me to set up the initial variables the, uh, or the coefficients to be lined up very nicely. In the first case, we have 2 multiplied by negative 5, which is negative 10. And if we add that to 10, we're going to get 0 copies of x. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 4 is going to be 0, so we've got 0 copies of y. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9. So here we get the equation 0 equals 9. 0 equals 9, is that true or false? That's false, and so here we have no solutions because it's never going to yield a true statement. So this is a system of equations that we would call inconsistent, and we would say that there is no solution to this particular system of equations. Okay, so why don't you try one on your own? Consider the equations 2x plus y equals 1, 2x minus y equals 3. Now assuming you pause the video and try this out on your own just for fun, Notice that the y's are already set up for elimination. So I'm going to take the two equations and just add them together. 2x plus 2x is 4x. y plus negative y is 0. And 1 plus 3 is 4. Divide both sides by 4. Yields x equals 1. If we suppose that x equals 1 and substitute this into the top equation, we would get 2 times 1 plus y equals 1. 2 times 1 is 2, so that's 2 plus y equals 1. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, we would get y equals negative 1. So, unlike the other two, the consistent dependent and the inconsistent system, this time we actually do get a solution that says that x, y is equal to the coordinates 1 for x and negative 1 for y. Hopefully you got the same answer.